welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Well, I'm Sam. I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, usually inside, but hey. <laughs> So today I'm going to be showing you some delicious and super easy, super health, weight loss friendly vegan lunch ideas that are not salad. I know a lot of times when I'm looking for healthy vegan lunch ideas, a lot of times I'm just seeing salads, which I'm not gonna lie, I like a salad, but some days you just want some like texture, you want some grit, you want some bread, you want a wrap. So I thought I would put together some of my favorite sandwich and wrap ideas that I've been making lately. One of them is a tuna sandwich, which is delicious and it's the best parts of a tuna sandwich, like the taste, like it tastes exactly like tuna fish, except without the stink. Because I remember when my grandma would make my school lunch and I would have tuna and everybody would be like, ew, oh, what stink? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get started. So you're first gonna start out with one can of chickpeas. By the way, this is my current favorite brand, Eden Organic, because it has no salt added. Anyways, the first thing you wanna do is rinse and soak your chickpeas. I just washed this off. You wanna do one celery stalk, you wanna do a fourth of a red onion, and you wanna do some parsley. I just kind of grabbed some, I don't have a measurement for that. So now, we're going to dump those in there. Grab your lucky fork and get to mashing. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you mash it all up. And if you wanna leave some chunks like I did, I mean, I did that out of laziness, but then after I did it, I was like, you know what? It's kind of like regular tuna fish that wasn't all smooth. Like sometimes you had chunks and stuff like that. Next, we're going to add all of this in there and then we're going to be making the sauce. So the first thing we're gonna go in with is Favonese, which is vegan mayo. I'm just gonna take two spoons full, put that there and there. By the way guys, when it comes to the sauce, you can do it however you want. When I used to eat a tuna fish sandwich, I didn't like a ton of mayonnaise. I liked it not super dry, but just like a nice balance of everything. So feel free to add more or less or whatever you want. One tablespoon of mustard, that in there too. I'm using a smaller spoon now, so I'm gonna just use two of these. One tablespoon of tahini. I love tahini. Okay, so now for the spices, we're gonna go in with some nutritional yeast. We're gonna go in with some pepper. Garlic powder, because when don't I like garlic? That's the real question. Now you're just gonna take your spoon and mix it all together. Okay, so I just toasted some Ezekiel bread. So this is a low carb bread and it is a complete protein. Next thing we're gonna do is add some greens on our sandwich. When you are trying to lose weight, definitely wanna have a good amount of greens on your plate because they are low glycemic foods, healthy foods, and they're going to fill you up. Okay, so now we're adding the best part, a scoop of tuna and some pickles. And you have a delicious tuna sandwich. So I have an obsession with Greek salad, so I decided to turn it into a wrap. So first we're starting with tinfei, and it looks like I'm chopping off my finger, but I'm not. It's thicker than it actually looks on camera, and I'm just cutting it into strips. Tinfei is a great source of protein, and a lot of people like it better than tofu because it's less processed. So we're going to put a little oil on our pan, and we're going to cook up some tinfei. And I'm just adding a little bit of garlic powder. Feel free to go in with whatever spice you want. And you want it to be nice and crispy, you know, just keep flipping it. And now we're going to make our dressing. I've shared this dressing on my channel before. It's so easy. So then take some of the dressing and pour it on the tempeh and leave a little so that you can add that in your wrap as well. Just mix that all around. So now I'm going in with Ezekiel wrap. So just like the Ezekiel bread, it's the same concept, but it's a wrap. I'm going in with some avocado hummus. Feel free to use whatever kind of hummus you want. Put everything in the wrap. I'm adding tomatoes, red onions, some of the dressing, olives, of course, because it's a Greek salad, and some lettuce. 
And then I take a little bit more hummus and I just kind of make it the glue to the wrap so that everything sticks together. And there you have it, a delicious Greek salad wrap. Next one, I'm gonna give you guys two ideas. So we're starting with a block of firm tofu, and what I like to do before I cook it is you wanna press some of the water out of it. You could just use a paper towel, and as you can see, I'm pressing some of the water out of the tofu so that it's more dry. Now we're going to be cutting it into sort of think like patties, and that way it's perfect for a sandwich or a wrap. So I put tofu right on the pan like this. Since it is watery, I don't add any oil to the pan and I'm adding some nutritional yeast and some garlic powder. This is going to make it come out breaded chicken, which was one of my favorite things I used to have. So organic veggie wraps, these are from Whole Foods. You have to get them. They're made out of just fruits, veggies, spices. They're really healthy and they're kind of tacky as in it's easy to mold them and wrap them. You know, some wraps just break and they're like the worst. These are really good. Um, I'm adding some sriracha, lettuce, tomatoes, avocado, and the wrap is so easy. It's kind of sticky, so you can really wrap everything up nicely. And I wanted to show you guys another idea. So the patty is perfect for a sandwich, so I'm adding that on toasted Ezekiel bread like I showed you earlier with the same toppings, except instead of sriracha, I'm going in with some mustard, and it's the perfect sandwich to bring on the go, bring to work, bring to school, and the perfect wraps as well. So that is everything guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you make any of the meals, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I love to repost on my Instagram story where you guys recreate my meals or pretty water or anything like that. I always repost. So I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys soon.